This has been a sad week for me, maybe for you, probably for you. We've lost, oh, we've lost something really wonderful <laughs> in Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She died last Friday and uh, things have been happening around town. People have written beautiful articles in the paper and on Facebook. There's so many things to remember. So I didn't know where to, where to choose a, a story to tell about this. I'm definitely a Ruth Bader Ginsburg fan because she changed things for women in this world. I hope you'll read about it. I'm not going to try to educate you on it. Uh, but I do remember long ago, I couldn't have a credit card because I was a woman and I didn't have a job. And so I always had to take Jim's credit card with me. I'm lucky he had one. Uh, that there were other things that were going on, you know, where women couldn't get equal pay. There were these things that could change women's lives and her work in the, in, as a lawyer and then at the Supreme Court helped us that way in no other way. So you can imagine that anybody that's sentimental and everything like I happen to be, I just was watching everywhere and everything. And I came upon the streaming, the streaming bits that are on the internet where they're following what's happening around the Supreme Court building and when uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg reappeared in her coffin. That's what happens, you know. Friday night after they had announced her death, I looked up to see what was on TV and it was the crowds, the crowds that were forming at the foot of the steps and then up the steps at the Supreme Court. They wanted to be there with her to honor her. I looked and watched and I began to look at the people. I was disappointed because I knew that I couldn't go down. I couldn't go down there, but I could watch it, thank God, for television and, and, and the computer. The next morning, it started fairly early and people began to arrive again and people began to bring flowers, just wrapped dropped on the curb near the steps. They were beautiful. They were, this was not just women. This was men and women who understood what she had done. And that went on all day and through Sunday. And then Monday, Ruth came back in her casket, wrapped in an American flag. And so they had a group that carried her, but this was a different group. This was at least a hundred people, women and men dressed in black suits or dresses that scattered across those steps and carried her when they needed it. They had been her interns on the Supreme Court. They were what they call part of the court family. And you could see on their faces that they had, they had come there to honor her. Well, I began to get really very interested in this story, not my story, their story. People have stories in their head. And I can't think that people showed up to be down there to stand at the foot of those steps without thinking about her, without telling themselves again the stories that they have about her, their stories. Isn't that what we storytellers talk about? Keep your stories or ask for them. And her story kept growing bigger and bigger and bigger because it was announced 
that she would be set on the top of the stairs and there would be an inside service for her, which was not for the general public. And then they brought her back outside and she stayed out until the evening. And that then after that, eventually, today, on Friday, mm, <laughs> she would be settled at the Capitol. Not for a long time. She'll leave there probably this afternoon. That she was brought there in this astounding hearse, shining and long that was brought there and the military crowd, the military group, the honors group carried her up those steps. But what's really important here, if you're a woman, if you care, this is the first woman and Jewish person that's ever been settled as a goodbye story at the capital of the United States. <laughs> I try not to be a crier, but often I am. That is monumental history in my mind. The first woman to be honored for her work that helped so many people, and those people were coming out to thank her. And more flowers were coming across the street at the Supreme Court building. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. One of the things I started in my business over there as a storyteller was watching those people. I was sitting home watching them through the TV they were all ages, all ages. Many as white haired as I have, walking slowly as they passed along the bottom of that down there. Looking, looking at the people that are there, looking up the steps to see her, to see her casket. They were quiet. It was so quiet. I noticed that first thing. There was very little little noise and people weren't yelling toward each other or talking back to each other. This was different. This was definitely different. This is people that wanted to thank somebody that had done really fine work for all of us. So I watched that. I watched the little fat woman who was toddling across middle age. I watched the older woman who had to be pushed across in the front. I watched the young mother coming with one or two children, one in a push and one she was holding the hand and going. They all stopped at the bottom of those steps you could say it was a prayer, or you could say they were talking to her. Or in my memory, I think they're remembering something that they knew about her. Maybe they met her. Maybe they bumped into her on the yard. I don't know, but they were accounting for her. Wow. Wow. That's the group. The it's all up, isn't it, when you think about that? I saw the men coming through. This wasn't just women. This was men. At the time when she had that first day, those people that arrived in black suits and black dresses, those were at least 100 people who had been interns for her. Interns. It was without a doubt in my mind, the most just dramatic, real and serious celebration for someone's life. 
amazing amazing that through technology we can see that we can share that and even people who can't go there can feel like they've been part of it and that they've seen it i saw the piece down at the capitol hill this morning i'm glad but the thing I read this morning, I want to quickly tell you, in the newspaper was an essay from a man. He was on the inner things. And he said that he just wanted to talk about a story. 11 years ago, he got on an airplane and he ended up sitting with whoever, Ruth, Ruth Ginsburg, one of his heroes he was a young lawyer and he talked about that and how important she was to him her examples her level of work her level of care wow i sat back and i thought you know wow this is not just women this is people that she worked for people I guess that's about all I can say about that now. I'm so glad I have an opportunity to share this story. I hope it'll mean something to you too. We've lived here with this woman and there'll be many more. My granddaughter is a two year lawyer. She's been a lawyer for two years. All of her friends, all the people from the law schools, the young women are inspired inspired well we get that message take care god bless you and the last thing is ruth bader ginsburg is going to be buried at arlington that's something too thank you